back down and to the left. I'm just continuing the strategy. If I remember right, this actually takes you through all of the trainers, naturally, anyway. And we can find yet another waterbender. Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for training psychics. You want to see Sabrina, don't you? I can tell. She's got the badge, right? So, yes? All right, Psychic Preston would like to fight. He's got Slowbro out front. Slowbro is known for being a special tank, so I'm going to have to kind of treat it like I'm going to kill it very quickly, uh, which means Sleep Powder up front, unless it misses. It goes for a headbutt. That's more powerful than I thought it would be. Really, Samja? Really? Are we doing that now? Sleep Powder, thank you. Did that take... Why did that take so long? Was that really so hard? Just pour some powder on the damn slowest Pokemon in the freaking game. One of them, at least. It's not the slowest, but it is. Damn slow. All right, Leech Seed. And now I can get some of that health back. And now I can actually consider... Oh, jeez, this thing's got a lot of health. All right, go, Razor Leaf. I should actually get back up to full pretty quickly. Yeah, it is a special tank, so I'm not expecting to do a ton of damage each time, but uh, one more. One more should do it, and that's going to get me close to full again. Not all the way. Probably two more turns of that would do it, but... Uh, yeah, we'll just kill it now. I've got synthesis should I need it. I've got plenty of potions should I need them. Actually, I don't have that many anymore. I think I have, like, four hyper potions. Something like that. Down goes Preston. Arrgh. Give me your 760 Pokeballs. How do you feel about what just happened there? That's right. I used telepathy to read your mind. Did it help any? Because I didn't notice it helping any. Let's keep going. And over here we can find the middle area with yet another channeler. Sabrina is far younger than I, but she has earned my respect by kicking my ass in Pokemon battle I will never get used to those eyes. Just, they're freaking squares. So big. All right, Ghastly is out front. I decided that it's time to get Lord Yawn a little experience. I know what you're thinking. Wait, you can't use normal types? Yeah, but I can use flying. And Drill Peck should be more than powerful enough to take out the Ghastly. I, I probably didn't even need the critical hit. Probably didn't need that at all. Get, oh, that was so close. All right, Haunter coming in. Still should be fine with Lord Yawn. Still should be fine with a Drill Peck. These things don't have too much regular defense. They're not built to take a hit. Give me the experience. At some points, it just does not matter typing as much as it matters stats, you know? Two attack, two speed. What more can you ask for? Well, like three and three, but that's not going to happen. Down goes Amanda. Not good enough. No, you're not. You're actually pretty bad. Thoughts on what just happened? In a battle of equals, the one with the stronger will wins, except we're not equals. If you wish to beat Sabrina, focus and will yourself to victory. Yeah, that'll do it. Freaking Sabrina, there she is in all of her, mm, I'm gonna kill you glory. But there's still this guy to deal with, yet another waterbender. You understand, don't you? That power alone isn't enough to win in the world of Pokemon. You also need special attack. And speed. That's my main strategy. Attack and speed. Tyron has Mr. Mime out front, so he's not a full-on waterbender. Fistamich is out front. Fistamich still needs some experience. Go fake out! God, it does so much damage. Such a big fan. Alright, strength incoming. Down goes Mr. Mime. D didn't stand a chance. Not after that fake out. Fake out too strong. Kadabra coming in. Can't use the fake out again, but Kadabra is pretty weak, so who cares? Strength. I'm faster than it, too. Fistimich is surprisingly fast, especially considering that it's like... I think I looked it up recently. It was like 80 kilos even, something like that. It is heavy. It was 80 kilos, 176 pounds, give or take? I will take that. God, Fistimich gets such good levels up. 
because it's a fully evolved type. Down goes Tyrant. I don't believe this. Well, just learn to accept it. The Fire Nation just conquered you, even though you were super effective against them. Sabrina just wiped out the Karate Master next door. Like, just? Like, last week? What? I believe we came in from the left this time, so we're going to go out to the right. Or we can find yet another trainer. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. You're one tough looking 10 year old. Can you see the toughness etched across my face? Because right now it kind of looks like I'm a little bit try hard to make. All right, Channeler Stacy would like to fight. She's got Haunter out front. It's actually a pretty high level, but I've got Lord Yawn who is the same level. Go drill pack. We'll see what that can do. Oh, almost good enough. It goes for a Confuse Ray, though. That's not necessarily going to be good. But... Should be able to do a Pursuit and uh, finish off the Haunter if I can. As long as I can pull it off. Go Pursuit! Down goes the Haunter. Lord Yawn does not care about statuses. I think we have learned that today. And like two days ago, actually. And down goes Stacy. I knew it. Then you shouldn't have challenged me. I was just trying to get through. I really was. I have much to learn still. I must master Psychic and teach it to my Pokemon. You mean like the move? Because it's a damn good move. Let's keep going. We're going to continue following our strategy just because I want to prove that it does work. But I do think we have taken out all of the trainers along the way. So we are free to try to head for Sabrina herself. Yeah, this is the guy that you actually want to go to. Uh, Waterbender in the top left, uh, the bottom left teleporter here. We'll take you to Sabrina. I think we are ready. I didn't even bother healing, but I think we are ready. I've been doing good against Psychic so far, so let's keep it up. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had Psychic powers since I was a kid. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. What do you mean you dislike battling? Didn't you pick a fight with the other gym? Whatever, it is boss time! Let's try not to overthink it. Why would you become a gym leader if you didn't want to battle? Leader Sabrina would like to battle. She's got Kadabra out front. Fist and Mitch is out front for me, and I'm not... Like, why bother with anything else to start? Go fake out. Almost enough for the kill here. All right, we're just, we're just gonna go for strength because Sabrina loves using hyper potions. Loves it. Absolutely loves it. Drives me nuts. Go strength. It's enough to one shot it. I shouldn't have even bothered with fake out, I guess. Give me that experience. I will take it. Mr. Mime's about to come in. Not gonna bother switching. Can't do the fake out, but uh, should still be able to, to strength my way to victory. Oh, so close. It goes for Calm Mind. Increases its special attack and its special defense, but I'm going for regular here. Yeah, she's still going to freaking go for Hyper Potions. I believe that she does have a limit of one per Pokemon, though, so I should still be good. And finish it off with another strength. Yeah, one per Pokemon still. So we're still, well, fairly in the clear here. Fistimich is absolutely dominating for me. All right, Venomoth about to come in, which is good because I want to switch Fistimich out. Uh, Venomoth, Venomoth, Bug Poison. Mr. Jensen. I know it's going to be regularly effective, but Mr. Jensen can deal with this. Mr. Jensi can deal with Venomoth. Psychic should be enough to take out Venomoth here. Yeah, down it goes. Down it goes. All right. Last one is going to be Alakazam. If you're playing Pokemon Yellow, uh, if you're playing Red, Blue, and uh, Red or Blue, then it's mostly the same for you. But if you're playing Yellow, uh, she has level 50 
Abra, level 50 Kadabra, level 50 Alakazam. It's, it's actually pretty difficult for you to take out the Alakazam more than it is for me. Uh, Alakazam is coming in, so uh, back to Fistimich, of course. Back to Fistimich. Fistimich is kicking all kinds of ass for me. Unfortunately, this uh, Alakazam is going to be faster than my Fistimich, uh, but a fake out will always go first for me. And as long as you can survive one attack, I should be able to finish Alakazam off with a strength here. It goes for Psychic. It's a damn powerful move, but Fistimish should be able to tank it. And she does. Strength, enough to finish the Alakazam. Down it goes. Give me the experience. Enough for another level for Fistimich. Fistimich is quickly becoming one of my most powerful Pokemon. That is not what I expected when I started this. Holy crap, look at that. Look at that level up. I will absolutely take that. Good God. Just a bitch. You're so good. That music sounds so good. Down goes Sabrina. This loss shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the Marsh Badge. Give me a shit ton of money for my work, too. The Marsh Badge... Makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. I've rarely let that happen. It's kind of hard to to go above the levels that they recommend with your badges in this game. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. That's their way to get around you over-leveling, but you can still really over-level and be under that marker. Wait, please take this TM with you. We've received TMO4 from Sabrina. Psychic power isn't something that only a few people should ha or have. Everyone has psychic power. People just don't realize it. Can you tell me what it is? TMO4 is Calm Mind. It makes the Pokemon concentrate to raise both special attack and special defense. It's a pretty good move. I'm uh, always a fan of status moves that do, you know, either two stages or two things, and this does two things. So it's better than your average, uh, your average status move, but I'm probably still not going to be using it. I just don't necessarily see the point of it all the time, but what are you going to do? Um, hold on though, let me double check what she actually gives you in the previous games, because I, I thought it was psychic, but that can't be right. In the first generation of games, she actually gives you Psy Wave, which is not my favorite move, but it is a psychic damaging move, and it's definitely worth talking about in the original versions of the game and uh, really up until generation six when they changed it. Uh, it has an accuracy of 80, so already I don't like it just because of that. But on top of that, the power varies, and I'm not that big of a fan of varying power. Uh, in particular, this power can be anywhere from half your Pokemon's level to one and a half times your Pokemon's level. So if you have a level 50 Pokemon, uh, it can do as little as uh, 25 power and as high as 75 power. On top of that, it also does not uh, benefit from stab damage. So teach it to a psychic type, teach it to a water type, it doesn't matter. It does the same. I'm gonna take a quick little shortcut out of here, which is through this upper one here. I believe this is one of the faster way through, faster ways through uh, the gym. It's probably not the fastest, but it's definitely faster than what we did before. This should actually take me out of here. And it does. And with this gym done, we are getting close here. We've only got a few more dungeons to go through, a few more areas left before we actually make it to the Elite Four. Uh, if we take a look at Dumpus, you can see that we do have six of the eight badges already. Very few areas for us to explore. I only have 25 Pokemon, that's kind of sad. Still don't even have enough for the item finder, do I? But with that done, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Dumpus. 
and his mostly alive Pokemon squad of the ever powerful Fistamitch, Mr. Gensi, Sanja, Fuzimi Cube, and Lord Yawn. Unfortunately, we did lose Deep Six today. Mm. But that's going to do it for these parts. Hope you guys have enjoyed them. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.